Hi, this is Caleb with Practical Daz Advice, and today I'm going to show you how to make your renders into a noir or Sin City drawn style. It's pretty easy, but if you don't know what you're doing, it can take you a long time to figure it out. So the first thing we do is we get our character set, and I've gone ahead and placed the lights here, and I have a Boris uh, here. You can do Boris HD if you want. Um, this is one of the few techniques that wrinkles can help. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my surface tabs, select my character, and I'm going to grab pretty much everything because I want everything to be changed. And I'm then going to go to my products under V visual style shaders and then I'm going to pick one of these four noir it doesn't terribly matter which one you pick they're just all starting places uh, so we're gonna pick this one number one we'll let it load and it's going to change everything on our character and his clothing and then we're gonna start going through and managing them and adapting them to our needs. Okay, now that it's all loaded up, I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm going to start with the eyes because the eyes can take, you have to, to work with the eyes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, under the eyes, I want to find eye reflection, and I'm going to go to opacity and put that at zero. All right. Next, I'm going to find irises. Okay. And I'm going to put the outline dark. I'm going to put that to black. I'm going to put the fusion light to black. Here. I'm going to put occlusion dark to black. I'm going to put occlusion light to black. Then I'm going to find the pupils, and I'm going to put diffuse to white. I'm going to put outline to white. So what will happen is the irises will be black, and the pupils will be white. And you'll see why we did that in a minute. It will look much better. The last thing I want to do is grab this other part of the eye, and I want to put it white. Alright, looks pretty good. Now I want to grab all the skin plus the lips. So just hit control and select the lips as well. I don't want to grab anything from the eyes. The other thing I can grab is fingernails. So now that we have those, I want outline dark to black and I want occlusion dark to black And diffuse to black, diffuse dark to black, and diffuse light to black. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the clothing. So I'm going to click. I want to grab the jacket and the sleeves and the coat. And we'll take care of the shirt and the tie here in a minute. So I have coat, sleeves, and the pockets. So now we have those. Diffuse dark to black. Diffuse light to almost black. Value of four. Outline dark, I want to leave white. Outline light, I want to leave black. Occlusion dark, I want to make black. So zero, 
occlu occ occlusion light four value of four so it's four red four green four blue and I want to go all the way to the bottom and s specular color I want to put that to black or almost black depending I usually leave it at black okay now we're gonna grab the pants real quick and we'll go up the other direction black and almost black black and almost black all right now I'm going to grab uh, I'll do the handkerchief handkerchief I'm going to make white so diffuse dark to white diffuse light to black occlusion light to black outline dark to white outline light black specular color white the tie I want black so diffuse light almost black probably more like 10 outline white occlusion dark black occlusion light almost black specular color almost black I want to grab his collar and his shirt all right and we're going to do outline dark black and occlusion dark Let's do a test render. And there you go. Uh, that's a great start. You can tweak it according to your lights. I've already got my lights set up. was working on this earlier. Knew what I wanted to do so I could do this video fairly quickly. You notice we have nuance. We have these nice lines. Um, your placement of your lights will change a lot of things. Uh, the only thing maybe is maybe do a little more with the eye but besides that it looks pretty good um, especially good considering that I didn't draw anything and I haven't gone into post to and that's the other nice thing about this style is that you can go into post and tweak things very easily without anyone really seeing that you did so and it doesn't take this high level of artistic skill and yet you can get some amazing amazing results so like and subscribe like and subscribe leave in the comments other tutorials you want to see thank you for watching thank you for watching this is caleb with practical daz advice peace